I share because I care. Plant Face Ninja here. What are we about to do, guys? We're about to jump into another smoothie. Why? Because earlier, if you see the video from earlier, I made some raspberry smoothies for Darlene. Now what we're going to do is we're going to be making green smoothies for tomorrow. That's right. As you well know, you've been here before. Which, uh, which side? This side. That's right. We peel it from the bottom. It comes out a lot smoother, a lot easier. Y'all want to go out? Okay. Brownie and Marley are going outside. They're fun. Okay. So, jumping in here, grabbing the nanner. Not sure if I showed this on the last video, but I might put some of it in these smoothies. Uh, went to a place called Gimme Five. Gimme Five has a lot of stuff that's like on sale. They had one thing that I really, I, I bought all four of them that they had. It's called, if you see it, it's a barista Japanese matcha green tea powder mix. Great to add to your smoothie, guys. These usually cost like 12 something. I get them for three. Guys, you're going to go plant-based. You want to get healthy. You got to look around. I mean, if you want to save some money, otherwise you can just, you know, spend tons of money, but when you want to introduce yourself to new things, um, you just want to buy stuff that's healthy for you, because health is a priority, right? Isn't it? Is it yet? Have you had that aha moment? Where health is so, so important, it doesn't have to do with, with how good it tastes. I mean, you can find things that are healthy that taste good, but if your priority is health, you're going to find healthy things. That are tasty for sure and these smoothies that i'm about to make like this one is absolutely just i mean i love it i love the green smoothies i'm um not sure how many bananas i'm gonna put in here you know whenever i do these videos in the past i'd say i'm doing eight or nine bananas but you can't you can't tell because you don't know how big the bananas are going to be i mean i usually have so many bananas in the house i just you know I mean, medium bananas, large bananas, what does that mean? I'm not even sure. Obviously, it's the size, but, you know, there's nothing exact on a banana. I know, let's grab another hand. Sorry. Uh, you know, I don't have many. Hmm, do I have more jars? I think I do. If I do, I'll probably do two batches. Because, I mean, it's just like, why not, right? Let me go ahead and grab some spinach. So the question is, how much spinach? Oh no, spinach is bad, right? No. Spinach just tastes like uh, a garden. I mean, it smells like a garden. You can't even taste the spinach. Really. Not at all. One thing I like about smoothies is I have found, maybe I'm a weirdo, but I have found that the more simple it is, I, I don't know. I, I like the idea that there's only two ingredients. Don't mind you, let me see if I can grab something else to throw in there. If I find anything, I mean, there's tons of stuff that I can put in. Yeah, so. No, I don't find anything. Oh, man. Now, you know I'm doing five gallons of water today, right? I was just up there. I, if you've never had raw cashew, and when you first try them, you're going to think that they have no taste. You're gonna think, oh my gosh, there's no salt, there's, you know, but once you eat them, at first when you eat them, you're like, no taste. You know, you just have a handful. If you're on a raw diet, you're, you're, your taste buds are gonna come back, okay? I'm mainly on a raw diet, you know, 85%. Actually, it's closer to like 95. But man, after a few days, oh my gosh, you know, now it's like my body, my, my mouth salivates for raw cashews. It's crazy. Oh, uh, very good. All right, so no more bananas. We got the spinach. What kind of water are we going to drink? Well, I'm going to tell you one thing. I finished that one gallon earlier. I'm so used to that. So should I really be that proud of myself? I don't know. Probably, yeah. Because if I hadn't finished it, I'd be feeling lethargic right now. All right. We are 
trying to get to the 24 ounces. Now mind you, you don't use 24 ounces, just, you know, when it's full of bananas, that's where you want to get it. We got our lid, our instant news. Bam! We're going to put it on what? The medium. I put it on medium. We're going to start. breakfast wasn't hard to, I mean was it wasn't easy to make this is as easy as it gets I've been here for breakfast wait a minute what am I having for lunch I don't know I'm going to work but good golly let me prep it hey I know you can do two days you can put, you know spice it up guys anything you want put your raspberries put your blueberries put your strawberries frozen you know it's gonna be affordable all right guys Yeah, and try to finish try to finish your meal before 6 p.m. or whatever time you designate. So what does that mean? That means, this is what that means, okay? That means Darlene has enough smoothies to be able to eat all day. When I get up in the morning, I am going to do smoothies tomorrow. I'm going to do smoothies and water, all right? All right, so, and I'm, I'm sharing this with you so you can kind of get in my mind, you know, what's this guy doing, you know? Well, he says he feels so good. Well, I do. So, in the morning time, if Darlene finishes those smoothies, she and I both can, she finishes the raspberry smoothies, we can both hit the spinach smoothies, and maybe I'll, I'll drink um, two of them, 
Maybe I'll just drink one early, around 6, 7 a.m. And then I'm going to hit it again before I go into the smoothies. Because smoothies, as you well know, don't make it any time to make very much time. Take very much time. I'll probably make blueberry because that's just one that I love tomorrow. So I might make blueberry. I'm going to add some more stuff to them, I think. Because, you know, it's important to add, you know, other... I mean, obviously, you got to eat a lot of different stuff, you know, to stay healthy. Sometimes it's good to be minimalistic. Sometimes it's good to be mono meals. Are these mono? Obviously not. You know, you've got two things going in there. You saw spinach and you saw bananas. So, would you count the water? Obviously not. You're, whatever you're, if it's not mono, it's whatever else. Two things. Okay, so, here we are. So, as you can see, we got three right there. What? And to top that, to top that off, I don't know why I say this. Okay. All right. What am I about to do? Hey guys, guess what? I finished my first gallon. So, is this a successful day? Day? Not yet. You know, when I have a successful day, that's going to be like when I finish my fifth gallon of water. That's five gallon challenge. <laughs> and I feel so good. It's just crazy. It's just, it's like I'm on a whole different, I am on a whole different level. I'm in a whole different zone. Yep. So, here's to you. Remember, if you think about going plant-based, please subscribe, like the video. Really do appreciate you. The YouTube algorithms are really strange today. As you can see, I put quite a few videos up already. If they go or if they don't, nah, you know. If maybe someday people will come back and watch these videos. And I'm hoping. So keep hope alive, you know, and um, oh, what was I going to say? Just always, you know, stick with it. Stick, whatever you're doing, stick with it. Grind it out. Grind it out. Every day, every day. Do your working out. Keep nutrition number one. Keep your, keep your workout very close behind that. Make your nutrition a top five. If your nutri nutrition is a top five. You know, I gotta tell you, you're probably not gonna be making videos like I am, but check this out. You're not gonna be doing much different. You're gonna be like, huh, I get up, I start my first gallon. Bam, I'm 32 ounces dehydrated once I get up. What am I gonna do next? You know what, what am I gonna eat today? Uh, you know, and, you know, and once you detox off those off that food, it's gonna be like, oh, you know, organic honey. And I get out my sorghum, <laughs> and my cashews, almonds, whatever you know and you're gonna start thinking that way and you're gonna start thinking about you know what I really need to do this yeah but you're gonna in the morning time you're gonna be like what am I gonna eat what what am I gonna work out you're gonna fight yourself your 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 mind at first wants to be lazy you gotta fight 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 it's a war and it's and every day is a battle but once you win that tiny battle the whole day, instead of you feeling like a 1 or a 5, you feel it a 10, maybe a 15 or 20. And at first you're going to feel like you're at a 15 or 20 because you had no idea, no idea how good you could feel if you just zoomed in. You zoom in and you use a laser focus. Consistency is key. I got to tell you, uh, just a thought. People start diets, this is a lifestyle, okay? If you start this lifestyle, you will succeed. You might succeed and fail and succeed and fail daily. You might throughout the day. You know, you might succeed in the morning, fail in the afternoon, and then pretty much a lot of people, they fail in the afternoon and they just throw the whole freaking day away. But if you, if you keep the desire there and you get pissed off enough and you keep your focus and you understand why you're doing it, Okay, this isn't something where you just like, I want to lose 20 pounds. I want to lose 80 pounds. I want to lose 150 pounds. This is something where you say, I want to live a healthy life. The weight will come off as it does. I think about everything that I eat and how it nourishes every cell in my body. You don't have to figure all those cells out. All you have to do is figure out, am I living eating real food or am I eating processed dead food? And then when you understand that that real food 
that healthy food is going to go in there, and it does replace over 3 million cells a day. So if you don't think today matters, today matters. Today is the most important day of the rest of your life. It matters. Dedicate yourself, and then when tomorrow comes, you handle tomorrow. You know? Keep up with the food. Make sure you have enough. Think about what you want to do. Don't waste your time going, oh, I need to go get 50 recipe books. Because all you're doing is just delaying it. And all you're doing is just inviting failure. And if you say, I'm going to do it at the beginning of the year, you can, sure. But then at the beginning of the year, everybody, not, what, 99% of the people, they join a gym, which is a complete waste. I mean, obviously go to the gym. I, I'm, I'm going to be joining a gym around here. It's actually the rec center. But I'm doing it because it has racquetball. It has a ton of, of machines. I've already been focused. You know, I've been on a, to a gym before, but this one, you know, with the schedule I'm on, it's just going to work. So, I mean, uh, uh, after March, once we're, yeah, when Darlene and I get married, we're going to we're gonna be at the gym hammering it out. So, just having fun, you know. There's no stress. It's just hanging out. You know, just going in, having a good time. Will I make videos from the gym? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> you know I will. I make videos everywhere. Mostly in the kitchen, though. Which is probably annoying. I don't know. Anyway, peace out. I'm out. Be good. Check out the next video.